Okay, my name is Anouka van Eerdewijk. I work at KIT, uh, one of the advisors on gender integration to the CRP Livestock and Fish. Um, we are here this week after almost 20 months of working on gender integration in livestock and fish and it's a good point to sort of look back and see what we've learned from the approach that we've taken. The uh, work focused on integrating gender into the flagships of the CRP, uh, especially the technical ones, the ones working on system analysis and value chain transformation. And after these 20 months, um, in which we focus, I think the approach was focused on two things. One, uh, having the gender fellowships available for people in the CRP, and then additional support in terms of coaching from uh, us as advisors together with some of the gender specialists in the CRP. And after 20 months that we are here now, we are able to look back, and I think the approach has worked, in, uh, has worked quite well, well in different ways. First of all, I'm happy to see that we have seen that across all these different flagships, so the technical, the system analysis, and the value chain transformation, we have found entry points for integrating gender. Secondly, I'm also very pleased to see that the level of gender analysis is actually quite good, so there is really good gender work as well. And I think the third strong point is that we now have an emerging community of researchers which have their technical expertise but also general analysis skills that we can build on. So we can now also look how do we go from here. Um, there are of course plenty of opportunities but the three I wanted to bring forward are that there has been a need expressed by the uh, gender fellows that now they have their gender disaggregated data, they've done their field work, they've collected their uh, data, um, how to actually interpret those. So how more support on data analysis for gender analysis, so that's a very concrete and uh, useful step forward. Um, another way forward I also see is that we now have these different gender integrated projects and we can look more also at um, finding synthesis amongst these projects so to build them up to a larger body of knowledge um, and that then can also contribute to the third step um, is to see how these emerging insights and this emerging body of knowledge on gender in these diff different fields can also be linked to more priority setting and let's say the, um, a new phase of a gender integrated research agenda with probably maybe new themes or new key areas.